Okay. Why does it say waiting for EG? <laughs> this is like the jankiest thing that I've ever done with a stream. And normally I would do something like this on the other channel as a test, but I am fairly confident in this setup. Never mind how janky it is. I can't see the chat, so give me just a moment and I'll start explaining what it is that I'm doing. Okay. So that's done. Now we hop over here. I'm excited to show you what I've got going on. I just need to finish setting it up because this is a first among firsts. So how do I get into the streamer uh, studio? Not even sure what it's called. You'd think that there would be a link that would take you straight there. The live control room, there it is. There is a link, it's just like hidden. So let me make sure that the audio on this computer is off. There we go. Holy smokes, I think we're good. We're on low latency and all that. Okay, we're looking good. For some reason, the, the live stream preview says that it has a duration of one hour. So I don't know if I screwed something up. <laughs> but here we are. So I can see chat. MS, how's it going? Arc data. Is elementary OS good? It's all right. It's all right. Okay, so. This is a live stream of, it's basically like the last live stream I did, which was testing games on the Snap Store. Yusuf, how's it going? So this is Super Sketch, and I'm going to show you why. Oh my god, good thing it didn't just close it with Reckless Abandon. Did you see what I just did there? I almost closed OBS and it would have killed the stream. Okay. Mitchell, how's it going? Do you see what this is right here? You see this? This is Kubuntu 19.10. And look at the hardware. AMD A8 7600. This is the Distro Delves rig. I am streaming from the Distro Delves rig instead of my workstation. And I talked about this. I talked about this on Twitter a few times, but I also mentioned it on the YouTube community thing. And basically I want to start doing live streams from the distro delves rig and that's not as easy as it sounds. And I spent yesterday and today getting everything set up and I haven't tested it until now. So we are totally working without a net. And that is okay. So one of the things I did we'll get to the Snap Store here in just a minute, by the way. I just want to kinda uh, show what I got going on here. This is a 66, wait, 660, GTX 660. There it is. So this is an old card, but it's a, it's a graphics card from the generation of the machine itself, of the A-series processor, DDR3, and all that. The problem is, is that it, it, I don't, I don't know if Vulkan works on it, and maybe we can do another stream and test it together or something. But um, NVENC is working, as you can see, the GPU utilization is, uh, you know, 80 something, and I'm streaming with NVENC. So that works. I just don't know if Vulkan works. But we'll get to that another time. Let's get into the Snap Store. Oh, was the. Uh, needless to say, I, I changed my Kubuntu layout and everything. And I'm sure you guys will ask questions about it, and we can, we can talk about it as we test out games. Bro, can you make a, uh, a video what you do with? Absolutely not. I don't make videos like that. There are lots and lots of other Linux YouTubers that make videos like that, and I am not one of them. I will continue to make Distro Delves episodes, live streams, and some other stuff, but those kind of, what do I do after I install Distro X? That is not for me. There are lots of other YouTubers that do that. So we're going to be looking at Snap Games. So I did something pretty janky here. Actually, did it revert my changes? It this is the flat pack version. What? 
Oh, hell. Um, well, this is a bit of a problem. I mean, I guess I can just remove this for now and re reopen it. Nah, that's not what I want. Okay. I guess I'll have to just avoid the flat pack the versions because you, you can't seem to filter them. I have this set up. I thought I had it set up to only show the snaps. Like, it's the default and everything, but you can't deactivate this without, like, killing it. I don't know. And you can't filter the snaps. Like, you can click this and it just filters all of the flat packs, which is really cool. But I can't do that with snaps. Damn it, that's going to make this a pain. Oh well. Wish there was an easier way of doing this. See, I don't, I just looking at this, I don't know what's snap and what's flat pack. So I'm going to have to go into all of these. There's pro Honestly, there's probably more games on, on flat hub than there are on the snap store. Like, I bet you anything right here, this is probably Flatback. Boom, Flatback. But I installed OBS through Flatpak, so I can't disable FlatHub, because it, apparently it'll take it out. Damn it. This is a problem. I'm not even sure if it's showing the snaps now, now that I think about it. I think all of these are Flatpaks. Damn it. Ah, well, this is what I get for not testing this. I don't think this is going to work. I might have to do it the old-fashioned way, and like we did before, and go to the website and installing it that way. But part of the reason why I'm using Kubuntu is so that I could use Discover to install them, but it looks like I broke it. Mitchell, Flatpak, what happened? I So this is Kubuntu, and, and it uses Snaps by default, you know? But... I installed Flatpak and Flathub, and it looks like Discover is, is using that instead of the Snap Store. Yeah. KDE, you like KDE? Yeah, I thought this would be fun to do because I, I don't... You know, I've been thinking about KDE on the DistroDelves series, and um, I'll talk about it another time, but I don't feature it very often. I know why, but I'll, I'll talk about that another time. Why not just use the Snap Store on the web? Because then I have to use the terminal. It doesn't plug into Discover the way Flathub does. So the whole point of this is see, remember, if you've seen my other live streams where I'm pissing and moaning about Elementary OS's App Center and how it doesn't have categories and filters, well, Discover does. But these categories do me no good if these are all plugged into FlatHub. I don't even think, I, none of these are snaps. I don't know what's going on. It's like all screwed up. So if I wanted to search for a specific snap, this is a snap, I think. Yeah, see? So the snaps, you can search for them, but they're not showing up in the categories. That's fun. Well, at any rate, uh, I talked about this on a Patreon post this morning, but I wanted to test this game, kind of show it off during the live stream. Because a developer reached out to me and asked me to do it last month. Um, and I don't do game reviews anymore. But I do play games on stream. And I thought that this would be kind of a fun fun take on that. So that's what we're going to do. So I don't really have a lot of plans for this live stream. I wanted to test the snap stuff. But it looks like it's not working right. And... This is kind of a test of the DistroDelves rig anyway, so I don't know. Hello, what distro do you recommend using a ThinkPad T? I have no idea what a ThinkPad T430 is. I don't know anything about it. Um, is it old? Is it new? If it's old, um, I don't know. Just to, I would just start with Ubuntu and kind of work, work from there. Ubuntu or Mint, probably. Actually, probably Mint, because Cinnamon is more friendly to odd or old hardware than GNOME is, in my opinion. You should probably try any KDE distro again. I mean, it's it's cool. Does it, I thought this had music. I've played this before. There we go. Oh no, I can't see what the music looks like. I mean, that looks okay. It's loud for me, though.
All right, so let's test this game out. So when I first played this, it wasn't, I didn't, honestly, I didn't read anything about it. I just wrote, dove in, because that's how I roll. Oh my goodness, it's tearing real bad. It's a little loud. How about that? That's probably a little too quiet. Wow, how, how noticeable is the tearing? <laughs> Let's try to play around to see uh, how bad it is. So this is like a puzzle game, a uh, programming oriented puzzle game. So you've got these four guys, or however many guys, and you need to get them to the end, basically. And there's there's a lot of games like this, you know, where you have to effectively program them in a way that gets them to their destination, you know? Music is fine. The tearing is bad. It tries hard but doesn't achieve. Okay. Daniel, the T40 should run any current distro without issue. Only Intel HD 4000 graphics. You'll see why snaps are better. They're just proprietary flat. But I mean, snaps aren't proprietary at all. I don't know why people say that. I wonder if so many times Firefox is tearing. Um, I the the tearing is caused by Kwin. Here, let's let's turn uh, VSync and stuff off. This could crash Kwin. This could crash. This could hose everything. What should we do? Should we, um, we'll just turn VSync off, keep the rendering back into OpenGL 2.0. Are there any KDE experts here? Scaling method accurate. All right, let's just try that. Let the applications you need pick the distro. Yeah. I mean, if, if you if you let the applications pick the distro, then you'll wind up on Ubuntu pretty much every time. It's still tearing. Hot damn. Uh, well, we could try this. Turn these guys off. Well, actually, you know what? Let's leave that open. And now let's try that. You've used OpenGL with no problems. Let's see if it's any better or any worse. There we go. I'm not seeing any tearing in the preview. Step, uh, actually step diagonal and then step down. There it is. I like this test here. Makes me think that the solutions are going to get really complicated later on. Funny thing is that I actually... Did I hit improve? I didn't mean to. I actually don't like puzzle games very much, to be honest with you. But that's not... That's not... Oh. Oh. I have to use if, huh? This might be where I toss in the towel. Oh my goodness. This can get complicated. I dig it. So let's just test the solution. So it is this... if equals switch oh it's already in an if clause I see oh I could just do an else I guess where'd the else go else if why can't the why does the else go away What am I doing wrong here? 
so that brings us back to oops oh there we go that's weird it's not intuitive I don't think that's gonna work because they're still gonna die wait what's wrong with it oh there that should work there you go you've used open gel with no problems the tearing is gone now that looked better looks good excellent good good making improvements so how oh, I did hit improve again damn it that was this three stars I don't know how it could be any better <laughs> four out of three lines really so it can be better how can I improve this How could maybe can you have two maybe an and no or actually there there you go Oh, whoops. What am I doing wrong? Or left is a switch. I don't know. Get out. I don't want it. How do I go back? We completed it. We'll go on to the next one. Trigger all the switches. Oh, this wow this this one really dives into the logic quick most of the other games that i've played like the endless os games there's a couple like this if you enjoy ug's confusion <laughs> don't forget to thumbs up the stream thank you mitchell and that is true don't forget to like this stream if you do indeed like it and you want to see more i actually haven't streamed in a in almost a week i think things have been really i don't want to overstate that things have been chaotic and I haven't been in the mood or really had the time to sit down and stream. And I've wanted to do it from the Distro Delves rig for a while. So, um, but anyways, what I was saying was there's a lot of, there's games like this on Endless OS, which you can find in Flathub, but they don't get into logic like this until way later. They're usually really simple. And this is like level four and we're already in conditional logic, which is pretty cool. But I want to explore some other games. Um, I think I've said everything there is to say. It's cool. It's a cool game. It's a really cool idea. Uh, I dig it. But ultimately, I don't really like puzzle games or logic games. So I'm not really... Uh, it's not a game for me, but it might be a game for you. You did it, and you're from Finland. It's 4.53 a.m. So I was actually thinking about doing this stream earlier today, and I decided not to because I know a lot of you are in Europe, and it is very early for you all. So unfortunately, I, I don't... My options are really early in the morning, and I'm usually groggy and or lethargic in the morning, or around now. There, unfortunately, there's not really an in between, and it doesn't really matter because it, it doesn't it doesn't work for the folks in Europe anyway. And I have a lot of viewers in Europe. So, how much do you rate EG? Uh, like rate that game? Uh, it's probably one of the better logic games that I've played. Puzzle games. Uh, I really like that it gets into the more complicated and conditional logic quick sooner rather than later that also means that there's probably a lot of a lot more content that is difficult and challenging for people who like that opposed to just a bunch of really simple um like kids level stuff which is fine but it's good that there's a diversity in in that in that arena uh, style of game so i'm going to turn vsync back on for kwin because it seems that turning it off for an, the NVIDIA server settings worked. So, oops. So let's see if we can find more snap games. If we have any luck finding snap games. There's no strategy games found at all. Well, this isn't going to work. Damn it. That sucks. 
so the the whole idea I had planned here is not going to work because discover is not behaving and I don't know how to fix it I don't even know what's wrong exactly snap is default so I can search for it but the categories aren't working right out of the right out of the gate we run into a bug with KDE it's kind of embarrassing actually I want to give more I want to give KDE more like coverage, you know? But um like we just get started and it's already like bugged out. I'm like and I I what I didn't do anything. I literally didn't do anything. <laughs> I'm just using the damn thing and it doesn't work. Ah, that sucks. You're actually a pen tester and you hate using Parrot OX or Blackbox or Black Garsh or Kali. Any better quality OS like Deepin or Manjaro? I, what makes a pen testing distro so special? Like, what? why couldn't you just use something Arch-based like a Manjaro or something? I'm, I'm assuming, excuse me, I'm assuming that Kali Linux comes with a bunch of stuff pre-installed, which is cool, I guess. It's just the tools, yeah. So there's nothing fancy about the kernel, like there's no special kernel patches or network stuff that helps pen testing. You could if you took the time to install it. How do you play Windows games on Linux? I just made a video about it. You should watch that. If it has the packages, it's whatever. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. What do you guys think of this Wolfen Doom? Blade of Agony? This looks really cool, but I tried to get this set up one time and it was a mess. I think we should give it a try. Oh no, it's gone. Oh, there it is. I wouldn't mind giving that a try. We got to page three last time, didn't we? I'm so disappointed in Discover. All I'm doing is using it. See if Chocolate Doom is on there. What does Chocolate Doom do that GZ Doom doesn't? Uh, what the hell? I type in chocolate and it gives me apricity icons. It gives me living room GTK3 themes. Really? Here's Chocolate Doom at the very, very bottom. You've never got Discover to work. I have. That's the thing. I've had. I've used Discover before, and it was nice. This is not good. Yep, this is the Snap version. So what do I do with this though? If I install it, this is just the engine, isn't it? This accurately reproduces the experience of Doom as it was in the 90s. I could install it. Trench, trench broom? Live for speed through wine? That might be interesting. Abstract games? Velorin, did we already play this one? Command and Conquer Red Alert through Wine, Star Ruler, The Traveling Fox, uh, Ice Maze, sounds cool. What's my opinion on Deepin? Um, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I don't know if I don't know what my opinion is on Deepin to be honest. Um, the Deepin desktop, I was underwhelmed with. I it like it felt like candy, you know, like it was really cool and flashy, but th there wasn't much substance. Like you know, if you just like scarf down a bunch of candy, you're not like full, and you it's just like it's not filling. It kind of felt like that. The OS itself is 
is weird. I don't know. I'm I don't, I don't really have an opinion. It does some cool stuff. I remember it was one of the first distros I used that if you didn't have the your Nvidia drivers installed, it popped up and told you that I thought that was pretty cool. Like I'm not. It's not good. It's not bad. I just, I just don't have an opinion. You heard it's unsecure. I'm, I don't know. I, there's people that say it's unsecure, but then there's people that say it's not. I, it's just, there's a lot of weird controversy around it. I don't know. Do you still play Rust since they dropped Linux support? No, I stopped playing that. That That is one game that I did stop playing because of the lack of Linux support. And that, that doesn't happen very often, but unfortunately... Did. Oh, that's right. This is a level editor. I remember that. Let's try out Live for Speed. No, I have friends that play rust on windows but i was like i was kind of at the end of my rust phase anyway and i i i don't know it's it's fine like people there are people that dig it for the social aspect of it and i understand that but i don't like i it's just not for me i had i had fun when i played it but look it's at the very bottom why is it at the bottom i literally searched for live for speed the words live for speed right here and it is at the bottom of the list i type in live for speed and latte is higher on the list than live for speed how is how like what what kind of sorting algorithm are they doing to it's like it's it's so bad it's almost impressive like i'm not even sure how you would code that on purpose like you would you you would you would hit an API that would return results and then you would sort it based on an algorithm. Like, how do you screw that up? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's very strange. I would love for somebody to explain to me how this works. Like, if I type in the words, live for speed, why is spectacle on top? Like, how did, how is this have anything to, how does spectacle have anything to do with the word live? The, the the word for and the word speed it's not even in the description it's just bizarre to me i have a very low tolerance for these sorts of bugs i am a a qa person by my profession this is like it is in my blood to critique stuff like this and i cannot help it but when i see something that is just this strange it, i i don't understand it I don't understand how it was programmed this way, and I don't understand how somebody allowed it to be shipped like this. Like, if a bug comes in and somebody's like, wow, this is jacked up, maybe we shouldn't release this, and somebody's like, no, it's fine, release it anyways. Like, what? Maybe if you search fart box, you'll get better results. I don't know. Maybe. Watch Live for Speed be at the top. Bug bounty, here we go. Well, I mean, bug bounty, you have to fix it. I, I don't, this is probably C++, not, I don't do that. Hey, you got me live again. Hey, how's it going, man? Good to see you here. Uh, fart box didn't return anything. Maybe just fart? That returns something? <laughs> it returns gnome. Oh, it returns a whole bunch of stuff. The more you dream, the farther you get by Michael Phelps. You don't like Discover? I, I was saying before, I've used it before, and it was okay. It, it's like it got worse somehow. It, to be honest, this kind of makes me want to try KDE Neon and see if that is any better. I called this stream Snap Store Games, and we're basically just like tearing apart Discover. Which I'm not mad about, I just wonder if maybe I should have renamed the stream. Let's pick apart KDE. Let's do it together as a group. Let's just go through the desktop and just like tear it down. The first experience you had with it was bad. Yeah, unfortunately that's that's common. I don't know what's going on here. Preparing Windows environment, okay. Good. <laughs> Abstract games, what's this? A suite of classic arcade and board games. I don't think so. 
Ooh, now this looks cool. A multiplayer voxel RPG written in Rust? Well now, I am interested in this. This sounds awesome. You guys know about this game? Is Yeah, this is uh, Randy. This is Kubuntu with the KDE backports. So yeah, this is the latest and greatest KDE stuff. Latest and greatest as it can be. So I think that maybe we'll do this again on KDE Neon later on, like later, maybe this weekend. We'll do this again. But it's as good as it can be. You feel like KDE gets progressively more unstable. I hate to agree with you, but I think you might be right about that. That looks like Cube World. Looks really cool. I'm excited to try it out. I can't believe it's written in Rust. So this will be fun to try out. How about this NX engine? Oh, this is Cave Story. Is this Cave Story or is it just the engine though? I mean, it looks like it might actually be the game, to be honest. Okay, let's give it a shot. NX Engine. All right. I don't like that it asks for root every time. Flatpak user installs don't do that. Odd controls for Cave Story. It looks yeah, MS it does look like Trove. That's what it reminded me of. So can I actually play this game or is it just the um the engine? Cuz I used to actually play Red Alert way back in the day. Did any of you guys play Red Alert? Started using Arch, you can't get enough of the AUR actually. I just talked to somebody that tried to install something from the AUR and it did not work and they installed it from a release file on GitHub and it did work. That's that's kind of my experience with the AUR. It's just really hit or miss. Like it every, when everything works, it's awesome. And then suddenly when things stop working, it just sucks. This looks kind of cool. It's not really my style though. Ooh, the Snapcraft build definition. Why did they link that? Like, that's a weird thing to put in the description. I don't know if you guys have ever seen ever seen a flat pack like manifest, but this is Snapcraft. It's just a YAML file. If you're familiar with like Ansible or um if anything that uses YAML for configuration, Travis, CI, Circle CI, whatever. It's just the same same sort of deal. You probably you could probably do something fancy with Jinja, but this is fine too. This this looks cool. I'm probably gonna skip this because this isn't really my style. I'm sure it's fine. It's on Steam. Wow, that's cool. Weird license for a game like this. This is like an art license. The AUR has never let you down. One of the guys you work with is a render. Are you the render farm for Westwood? Wow. Is Westwood even still around or did they close shop? Or did they get bought and somebody closed them out? Hello, Snap Store is not working on the latest version of MX Linux. Hey, Rice, how's it going? Good to see you. You don't dig that flat pack. You don't dig flat packs much because your experience are kind of broken. Like Telegram's mouse cursor. Yeah, it's a style issue. Uh, it's just the nature of the beast, unfortunately. It's like issues like that are more like the packager, the packager's fault. It's it's less to do with flat pack and more about the person that packaged it. Well, this is weird. What the hell? It's like time traveling. What is this even supposed to be?
it it like almost reminds me of a Roblox obby or something. Same here. You never use app images, flat packs, or snaps. You use none of the things. You like your visual styles consistent? Yeah, I I feel you there. A collectathon, huh? It looks super duper jank, but I mean it was updated this month, so eh. The traveling fox. App images are the most consistent. Yeah, I, I tend to agree with that. I've had the best luck with app images. <laughs> Don't tell me it's at the bottom. There it is. It, maybe my sort is off. You can't, like, sort it. It's It's almost like the sort is backwards. Because this would, like directly map to this yeah this is the sort the sort is backwards that has to be it because time shift is like sort of related to traveling i just i chalk it up to another bug using carla what do you mean what's a carla You never, you've never had an issue with app images. To be fair, you don't use them a lot. Well, there's not. There actually is a store, but it's not the same. It's not like Flat Hub where it's like, you know, in your face. It's called App Image Hub. <laughs> of course it is. You like images because they're so simple. You just open it and they work. Yeah. Uh, this leaves something to be desired. I mean, hey, it's something. Hope you're not too late. No, it's wackas. No, I'll be uh, I'll be here for a little bit longer. A little bit longer. I'll be here for quite a bit longer. <laughs> Carla is a Linux audio program. You just thought you saw it in the software. No. So creative is this story. Yeah, this is. It's it's uh, it's a start. You really dig the basic CSS design. It's. You know, it's better than nothing. I mean, it shows they're making an effort. They have 993 apps, huh? That's kind of interesting. I wonder how many of these are actually, like, up to date and stuff. I'll probably do a stream in the future where we can we can go through this and try out some of these uh, app images, but we're not going to do it right now. I've got, like, a whole bunch of games downloading. I mean, hell, let's let's try some of these games out. What's this one? Ice Maze? This looks like Chip's Challenge, which isn't a bad thing. What do we got here? Live for Speed isn't done yet. <laughs> NX Engine it is. I'm going to put a jacket on. The AC is not turned off. Where's my phone? Oh, boy. Whoa, that's loud. Is that loud for you guys? It's sure loud for me. Good lord. Yeah. They're using XFC logo in the game. Are they? Oh, <laughs> in the game, the thing. Okay. If this is, if you want me to turn it down, let me know. It's really loud for me. I don't know if it is for you guys. Okay. Wow. Okay, so far this is awesome. The controls are, like, really weird. I think somebody already said that, actually. The controls were listed. This is really weird. Audio level's fine. Hey, if it if it works, it ain't stupid. What do I do? Oh, not that. 
Not that either. Do I go this way? Whoop! Okay, well I died. I mean, this is really cool. Cave Story is such a cult classic. Yeah, I can, I can tell. This is awesome. What just happened? Why is this happening? Is this live for speed? Don't this this has got to be live for speed. It just took over everything. It is. What the hell, dude? <laughs> well, I guess we're playing live for speed now. You guys want to do some racing? Live for speed's actually not a bad game. I don't know if you've ever played it. I played it a long time ago. Is it malware? I don't think so. Maybe. That's actually kind of nice to be doing weird uh, streams like this on the Distro Delves PC, because if I do wind up getting malware somehow, then I it's just like there's nothing on this computer that's important, you know? Yes. Look at this thing, huh? <laughs> this brings back memories. I haven't played this in ages. I hope the controls are all right. How do you what, how do you go? What's the go button? Mouse left is the go button. Well, that's different. Training, single player, hot lap, sure. Yeah, let's do it. You ever heard of Godot? No, Rice, I've never heard of that. Is it a manual? It is, isn't it? Damn it. I mean, how do I shift? B is horn? Okay. There's a clutch. S, X, and C. Okay, now it's automatic. What did I have to take it? Did I have to take it out of park? <laughs> okay, that's fine. So in one of the Distro Delves episode, I featured a racing game. Do you remember what that game was? What the hell game was that? I'll be totally honest with you guys. I was nice in that review. That game was terrible. That game was terrible. I try to be as, as neutral as I can in Distro Delves episodes. And I, I, I was trying to give that game the benefit of the doubt, you know? Because I, I, I don't want to just go on record and just, like, you know, trash all over games or whatever. But that, that game was bad. Popped in to say hi. Uh, you did mention certain something else in the Distro Delves GitHub page. Yeah, I was actually going to post some stuff on there earlier today, but I, I've been so busy today. I'm, this is, this, uh, for the folks that, that joined, um, recently, I talked about this at the beginning of the stream, is that the frame rate's not good. Like, this is way lower than 30. But anyways, this, this stream is, is from the Distro Delves PC, this is not my workstation, and I'm testing a new graphics card in it. It's a 660, NVIDIA GTX 660, so it's ancient. But it is supposed to have, you know, oomph to get better performance than this GT730 I've been rocking. But I'm not very impressed with it, to be honest with you. I have a GTX 750. But the problem is that the Distro Delves rig is really small. The case is really small. And that graphics card does not fit with a wireless card in it. And I have to have that wireless card because I do not have a USB dongle that works with 5 uh, gigahertz. So I have a, a conundrum and I'm trying to avoid buying something because I hate spending money. But I, I think I might have to. The GTI, uh, the 750 GTI is smaller, but the, it has a fan on it that blocks the uh, PCI-1 port. That's why it doesn't work. 
I, I'm for, I can't read. I'm trying to read the chat and drive at the same time, and it's it's not it's not working. And driving with the mouse is really freaking awkward. <laughs> it's is uh, it's as awkward as it sounds. Nah, that sucks. Oh, uh. So I mean, this game is cool. I th what did I do? One lap, two laps, or something? It's fine. I dig it. Cave story has been waiting for me in the background. All right, let me let me die, and then I'll I'll get back to the chat. <laughs> this game is awesome. This is so cool. I'm really happy about this game. the polar star how do i use it <laughs> all right this game is awesome <laughs> i like that game a lot i would totally keep playing that what do you guys think should i do a stream of just that game someday all right um random fun fact of the day hold on i've got a lot to catch up on here EG does a lap and is about ready to leave, yeah. The only card you have is a 550, uh, or a 1050 TIE. I was looking at that one, too. The stream is... Yeah, the game was a little bit laggy. It was, like, maybe 15 frames a second. Uh, random fact of the day. accidentally ran a game for Windows 7 games. 10-pack. Uh, your 1060 is pretty big. Wow, this is lagging, like, really bad. Oh, my God. Frame rate is terrible. Is this is it really loud? I'm always paranoid that the audio is going to be screwed up. Actually, if anything, it's too quiet. I'm putting it on easy because <laughs> I don't know what to expect. There's first and third person. That's cool. The graphics quality is on high. Uh, Splinter Cell Chaos series. Do any wheels work good with Linux? I actually don't know. All right, Sheriff Blast, you notice that a lot of Linux YouTubers are very conscious about revealing any negative uh, feelings or, or thoughts. I mean, so here's the thing. Uh, if I just run my mouth and just talk without a filter, I, I don't know what I will say. So I have to be cautious about reviewing things and stuff. And that's why the checklist is so good. Thanks, Dill. For the donation, I've this is the first donation I've ever gotten through this, so I don't know if everybody can see it or or anything. But uh, thank you for that. I appreciate it. That is very very awesome of you. So yeah, in the district of, and I also know that this stream is gonna get, you know, 500 maybe a thousand views, and then people will stop watching it. But the district of Devils episodes will live on and live on, and people will continue to watch it. And I don't want people to watch it and see it as a review and be like wow this is just a total piece of crap so i try to be factual about what i say in in the episodes but here on stream i'm totally off script i don't have anything to to work from so uh i i guarantee nothing uh of, of what comes out of my mouth uh so yeah <laughs> i guess i'm more honest here i'm more uh candid Candid is the word. Okay, this game is bizarre. We can see the donation in chat. Cool. Excellent. Well, you will be forever remembered as the first donation I have received in chat. So this is the training parlor. The frame rate is not good. Uh, he appears to be wearing socks and maybe a... Uh, I don't even know. This is so fitting. 
the uh actually look it's just going up that's i don't know why it's doing that can you guys find out what th this game was written in is this like godot or something a bootleg star fox <laughs> that lighting though rice i mean this in the nicest way but this is giving me water watch vibes I don't know, maybe it's like the world? Like the way- it, I, is it supposed to be textured here? Like, I don't know. <laughs> the graphics are so fascinating to me. Like, this, this whole game is strange. The music, when the fox talks, it's like a guitar chord like it's so weird and then so look at like it it it's kind of faded out in the background so there's like a uh, depth of field going on panda 3d no way is that the disney engine it's a game engine you script with python yeah so this is the disney thing You can run along walls, is that what it said? Oh, well, that's the end. <laughs> this is like the weirdest game I've ever played. Like, it's just, it's bad enough that I want to keep trying to play it. weird oh is the is it tearing really bad that sucks i try to move the camera and it like it's stuck on walls and stuff this is so weird you've got to be shitting me okay i'm i we're, we're i think we're about done here I'm, i was trying to get to the next level to see if there's any textures but i don't know Yeah, this is based on a Disney movie. Enter spaceship. So this is a discount Star Fox. How do I go? How do I get in? Okay. Well done on that course. Now go to the portal and enter. I want to see what a world looks like. Oh, look, it's like um, Mario. Th it's like Mario 64, right? This is just like Mario 64. Phoenix Games made this. Who are they? When you ask mom for Star Fox. <laughs> Do a barrel roll, I'll try. I just want to see if this world has textures. This is bizarre. Game's so bad they made Fox go to heaven. The graphics just keep getting worse. <laughs> I think it might have died. Oh, there we go. I'm really fascinated that this is this was done with Panda. Wow, I'm going to have nightmares from this. I don't know if I should be playing this. I'm going to go to sleep and I'm going to wake up in this world and not know what to do. Are those scissors in the back? Like, what the hell even is this? Paper Planet. It's a bad LSD trip. I thought Toontown was written in Panda 3D. I thought that's I think that's where Panda 3D came from. Hey, 
Paper planted is completely made of paper with scissors and all this other shit. Okay. Hello there. I don't know what that animal is. A new image is unlocked. Watch out for that gap. Watch out for that game. This is so weird. Oh, Jesus Christ! It is scissors! Okay, I've, I've had about enough. I wouldn't say the game is bad, it's just, like, really weird. Like, really... What's the story with it? Like, where did, where did that come from? That was... That was weird. It's Mario 64, except the textures are weird. The frame rate is terrible. It's called the Traveling Fox. Hey, Derek, how's it going? Expresso 9, there are some textures. Uh, I don't know if you'd call them textures. Maybe colors might be a better word. Just colors. And before booping, the scissors make you take damage. All right. Be sure to comment if you see tearing or other artifacts, because it, it, it looks okay to me. But if you guys see something, I don't. I don't want to log in. Okay, good. Say, if there's a if I have to log into anything, then we're not going to do it. This looks cool, though. Yeah, Rice, you weren't here when I found this. This is an RPG written in Rust. The Discount Cube World. <laughs> it looks cool. Maybe the developer was on uh, drugs when he made the game. Oh my gosh, this looks really cool. Hmm. What's this? Nobody can be that, I guess. Oh, it's just choosing the weapons, I see. Okay. Well. Sure, let's be an orc. Uh, well, the character is going to be character name. Uncanny Valley. Trove clone? Yeah, that's what I was thinking when I saw it. I thought of Trove. You're installing this now? I, I don't know. I've never played it. Um, the mouse sensitivity is uh, a little wacky. It's like not good. Human bandit? What? He just fell off into the water, I guess? There's no sounds. I don't... Like, this is really weird. I'm kind of thinking that maybe the bow and arrow wasn't the way to go. Get away from me. He's... How am I supposed to hit... Look at him! How am I supposed to hit that? Whoa! I don't even know how I did that. I want to do it again, though. Yeah! Okay, that's cool. Okay, but the bow was a bad idea. Only music and footsteps. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you gave up on psychedelics years ago, but here we are. You get back into them, and then you, you find the world has turned into this. It's like weirdly familiar, but also there's something clearly wrong. I don't have a right arm. It's just like, this is really weird. <laughs> Only music and footsteps. I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's, it's just another, it's, it's just weird. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of weird games in the snap store. Look at the, do you see that in the background? Like these mountains and trees coming out of nowhere? 
I'm more fascinated that this is all done in Rust. Like, did they write their own renderer for it, or what? I don't know. Rice, do you know anything about this game besides that it's written in Rust? Oh, I was going to try to jump that gap. This is so weird. Yes, kinda. You do know a little bit about this game? Wow, look at this hill. What's that? I don't like how do you pick stuff up? I don't know. Show key bindings. Oh, this is cool. Skill bar social. Oh. Factions. What do we got here? Map? Oh. oh, wow, that's really cool. Is this like really, really early access, I wonder? Oh, shift is the glider, I see. Free look, full screen window, target, crosshair. Why is there only climb down? There's no climb up? Huh. Toggle cursor? Oh, okay. Interesting. Alright, I'm going to climb to the top of this hill and then glide. And glide around. It's free and open source. Yeah, MS, I agree. This does have a lot of potential. This is really cool. It's weird, but it's really cool. Like, if you guys ever, if you guys have ever played Trove, you know Trove is just, is weird in its own way. It's, it's like almost a social, it's just different. It's not, it's not what I thought it was when I first started playing it. This is actually what I thought Trove would be like. Just an open world voxel based game. And Trove is, but it's also not. It's just weird. So let's try doing the gliding thing. Oh, what the hell? What did I do wrong? We're going to pull a Far Cry. Here we go. Look at this! This is so cool! Oh, wow! And once again, uh, let me remind you, this is Rust. This is all done in Rust. And the reason why it's cool is because Rust is um, a very strange functional first programming language that isn't really popular outside of very specialized applications such as Firefox, so it's just weird to find a game, let alone a game like this, written in a language like Rust. Like, if you said, oh, well, this is written in C Sharp or Java or something, you'd be like, oh, okay, that's cool, a lot of stuff. But, like, what is written in, in Rust? It's actually, there's like a curvature, and everything is kind of popping up. It's, it's weird, but it's also really cool. Rust is a citra is a system. It's like it, it. When I think of Rust, I think of Go. They're both kind of in that weird specialized. Technically, you could use Go for anything, but Rust is is really specialized. Okay, this is like really cool. I don't know what I would do with it, but it's really cool. Who said? Um, Somebody said that they were installing this game. Yeah, it's cool. It, I like it. That was really fun. You think Discord uses Rust for some stuff? Rust is Rust suitability is more like C++, but with more annoying definitions and variable ownership. It's I mean, it's just functional programming is different way of of coding things. It's just different. People people like it. Some people don't. So I want to try Ice Maze because they're using the XFCE logout icon as the player. And what's there not to like about that? Yeah, that game is Val Valoren. Valoren. And I'm, I'm starting to see the tearing in the preview. It's not... Rust 
script is not object oriented. I'm pretty sure it's functional. Yes, thank you, Wikipedia. I was I was thinking of iron oxide. You got me. Multi paradigm. Syntactically similar to C++ without garbage collection. Performance of idiomatic Rust. It is not for me. Do they have some examples of it? Look at this madness. I guess this is pretty sane. Mutable stuff. For in. It's kind of Python-y, isn't it? I don't know. Not for me. If you try to use it like uh, object oriented, you'll be frustrated. Try to use it at all, you'll be frustrated. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. It's it's not a language for me. Where did the ice ice game go? Ice maze. Does KDE not consider it a game? Is it that bad? It's not even showing up. Maybe that's a sign. Oh. Oh god. It's duplicating. I can't close it! What have I done? Frozen castle. The sounds are good. Huh. It actually scales pretty well. What the hell? Okay, you guys might laugh, but this is actually really cool. <laughs> oh my god, this is really cool. There is a board game that I've played that is really similar to this. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Do you do any of you guys like this sort of game? Oh, listen to the sounds. Are you serious? Hmm. There it is. <laughs> Mitchell, you like games like this too? Rice, you used to play a tabletop game like this? It had the game I'm thinking of has something to do with robots. It's like there's four players and each of them has a robot and they're all supposed to like everybody is supposed everybody takes turns getting to the spot on the board. And it's uh, it's like that where it's like you bounce off of corners and stuff. This is way too much fun. We were making fun of this game because it's using the XFCE icon, but this is really fun. And this is a perfect example of a game that, that what what's the graphics? It's a freaking cube and a and an existing icon. It's just logic. I can't imagine what the logic looks like though. I couldn't program something like this. This is so cool. Oh, this one looks hard. Oh, I think I screwed it up already. Yeah, I did. Ah, shit. I don't know. I don't know about this one. I won't be able to do this without some some concentration. That's not. I'm not going to do it on stream. It has something to do with that that little area though. That just takes me back down. How the hell? Huh. I don't know. I I this is way too much fun. 
Hey, Ian. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's the name of this game? This is called I Can't Close It is what it's called. It's like Portal 2. You prefer games like Zero AD and Free Civ. Those are good games. There's nothing wrong with those. This game is called Ice Maze. I have no idea why. I didn't see any ice. But maybe the textures were jacked up. I don't know. So let's let's do this another time because I have played this before and it, it the the default settings are really messed up and it's like story driven and stuff. But I'll do I'll do a stream as, like specific for this game. Uh, let's take let's quickly take a look at some more games here. <laughs> Alan Pope and his Linux tycoon. What else we got here? X Bill. Oh, here's that Mario game. Flight Gear. I mean, should we even look at that? We're, we all know what it is. Legends of Runeteria. Server for World Forge. Believe it or not, I've never played this before. I've always wanted to. But it, it always seems like a hassle to get it running. Oh, oh this is Lunduke's game. Get rid of those Windows viruses. Your objective is to click the mouse on them? Are you serious? <laughs> Looks simple enough. Let's give it a try. Mindustry. You program mainly as a hobby. You enjoy making simple games, yeah? Love the Distradel series. Thank you, thank you. Alan Pope makes a lot of snaps. Wolfenstein. Yeah, it's like a weird story-driven version of uh, Wolfenstein. I think it'd be fun to play sometime. Don't really hear anybody. You don't really hear people talk about it for some reason. What on earth? This looks kind of cool. <laughs> if you like the game, send me a postcard. That's different. Okay. Lambda Rogue. Oh. Oh, it's not. Oh, because it's in the beta. That sucks. I I don't even know how to access those off the top of my head. I'd have to look it up. You wake up and find yourself alone on a broken spaceship heading for a penal colony. It was written in a week. I think I'm going to pass on that one. Uh, we played this on the last stream. This would be fun to beat sometime. Well, we'll beat this on stream someday. Yeah, Flight Gear. We'll play this on stream sometime too. Whoa. Wow, this looks cool. What is this? An open source RPG game engine? Have you guys heard of this? It runs quests in Lua. Huh. This looks really cool. It's kind of like Game Maker. Yeah, yeah. Huh. This looks really cool. That's a Zelda game engine? I've never seen that. I've never even heard of this. This looks really cool. It has a bunch of completed adventures. Oh, wow. We're going to have to play this sometime. I need to be keeping a list of this stuff. I don't know why I'm not keeping a list. I guess I could just watch these streams again. <laughs> Listen to myself say, boy, I wish I was keeping a list of these games. 
it's using the QT5 uh, Q style in the video. What the hell is this? Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Pixel art game. I see. It's very popular in Portugal, Spain, and France. And, uh, is that Austria? Czech Republic? Yeah. And, uh, Estonia, huh? What the hell? What should I think of this? I don't know what I should think of this. <laughs> Can you guys tell me how I should feel about this game? Because I don't know. What even is it? <laughs> it's Portuguese? Like, I, I obviously can't read Portuguese, but I, I can't even make out what is supposed to be happening from the pictures. Like, it's just it's just weird. <laughs> the game being separated. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm not sure. Like what is happening in this picture right here? I think we're going to pass on this one. Okay, sounds straightforward. A pixel art game where you have to run without getting caught by evil agents. You know, I have to say that I'm incredibly pleased with how many of you know what these games are. I've never even seen them before, and so many of you are like, I know that. In a chill village, a red panda will have an encounter with their destiny. Okay. We all know Dwarf Fortress, right? It's actually a really fun game. Not sorry for those who don't know what the game is. Oh. It exists in the same universe as League of Legends? What? What was the Game Maker one? That's a good question. It'd be really smart of me to be keeping track of this stuff. Uh, it was called... Oh, boy. I don't remember. Solaris. Solar Us. Is it really Solaris? <laughs> it's really cool, though. I saw somebody say uh, Mindustry, so I went back and and we'll we'll check this out too. Got it. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Did we ch play X Bill? Oh, <laughs> this looks like a quality game. Wow! Look at that cursor. Just a hand. <laughs> How's this for UX? You click game. You have to hold it. If you let go, it goes away. You highlight new game, and it says new game. No, I was just bullshit, and I didn't actually mean to click that. Like, really? Oh, my God. I don't know what to even say. I, what is what is this? It should run on its own X server. It might be. What, the, what is this? What 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 am I doing here? There's no sound. 
So are they are they trying to install Windows on these machines? Is that the is that the joke? They're little Bill Gates. They're they're trying to install Windows on these computers. <laughs> I I I gotta get out of here. game you want to play when you could kill yourself yeah I, I guess I don't I don't really even know okay this looks this looks cool what the hell uh what the hell Okay, this is a really simple premise, and I kind of like it. Channel 420. <laughs> of course it's Channel 420. I'm sure that the story is very interesting. Yoink. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Use the action button when enemies are close. Oh my god, really? Okay, this is actually really, really freaking cool. Awesome. It kind of gives me Pac-Man vibes in a way. Because you just have to avoid these, these guys. <laughs> oh, wait, is that it? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, come on. We beat a game on stream, guys. This is the first game we beat on stream. <laughs> this game is really cool. Like, really cool. I'm going to keep this one open because I want to look them up on Twitter. You're surprisedly not familiar with this game if if it turns out to be good. It is it is really good, but it's it's just like three screens. That was really freaking cool. Plays Final Fantasy Victory theme. <laughs> this is the first game we beat on stream. I'm I'm proud of all of you. That was uh that was a tough game, but we did it. Uh oh, there's two of them. Flat pack and the snap version. This is a snap version, right? Yeah. What is the Final Fantasy? It's a good question. What is it? Somebody give us a TLDR on what Final Fantasy is. Open Tyran. Opens Jedi Knight. Wow. Some really cool stuff in here. Subway Simulator. Uh, Selfless Heroes. We already looked at that one. It was a good one. We played that at the beginning. It, it dove right into the, the complicated logic. It was really fun. So I tried to play this recently. And it it didn't run good, so let's let's give this a try. I'm sure everybody here knows what Tyran is, right? Legendary shmup. Final Fantasy is a game about birds and guys with big swords. I think that about covers it.
So this this would obviously be a lot of fun. And I, I could totally see us beating this on stream. This would be a lot of fun. But you need the original assets, which I don't have. Cataclysm, oh boy. ASCII art game. I'm sure it's a lot of fun, but I don't. we don't have the time to do this on stream. Another World Forge game. Or World Forge uh, client. I think the other one was a server, but it's the same idea. GD launcher. This is a Minecraft launcher. Okay. What's one fetch? I've never heard of that. What on earth? Ha! I was just about to say that this kind of looks like Dungeon Keeper. Players build an underground dungeon which is inhabited by creatures. That TLDR, if you're wondering what Dungeon Keeper is, that's it. It's worth looking at. It's called Open Dungeons, go figure. Anybody here play Dungeon Keeper way back in the day? Fantastic game. Absolutely fantastic game. We already played uh, Open Surge. I could I beat that on stream sometime. That could be fun. Oh. This is a legit <laughs> subway simulator. Does English Bob know about this? He likes these uh, simulator games. Take a break from European truck simulator and do some subway simulator. What could What would you do? Like... Are you riding on the subway? Or are you driving it? Well, it looks like you're driving it because there's these. But, like, I mean, how much substance could a game like this have? <laughs> it's just, I, I guess there's Train Simulator. It's AG Subway Simulator. I could, get, let's give it a try. What's it called? See if it's, see if it's findable. There it is. Terminal worm? Nope. All right. What do we got here? Letting English Bob know? Excellent. You mean EG Subway Simulator? That is exactly what I meant. Doesn't look like uh, Mindustry is going to launch. What? Oh boy. Oh, there we go. The desktop launcher didn't work. Also, please tell me that there is not a Mel mod. <laughs> I hope there's a Mel mod. You could just you could fill one of the uh, subway cars up with tons of them. What on earth is this? Oh no! Did it launch a second one? It did. Guess I was impatient. There we go. Okay, this looks awesome. Begin by mining copper. Wow. Well, what do I do? I want to pick it up. Do I have it? What do I do? Okay. I mean, it looks like I'm mining it, but it doesn't think I am. What, what do I do? What do I do wrong? about this corner what move close to it tap it I mean I am it looks like it's going into my ship or whatever but like nothing is happening 
Oh, whoops. Well. I r I'd love to try the game out, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Copper. Says I have none. Oh, here we go. Oh, am I building something? What am I doing wrong? The tutorial glitched out. Can I just, like, skip it? Resume building? I mean, sure. Huh. I don't know. This game looks really cool, though. Uh, something's wrong. I don't think I'm supposed to be going out here. Does this look right? Oh, wait. You have to mine the copper close to the, the starting square? Oh! There you go. Okay. Drills can mine automatically. Click the drill to the bottom right. Okay. Hey. What am I doing? All right, well, I don't have the patience to figure this out on stream. This looks really cool, though. What is this? I don't want it. Rice is back. Nobody panic, he's back. Rice is returned. Did you return with more information for us about Rust? Uh-oh. Epic Mega Games. Uh, what the hell? It just closed. Here we go. All right, here we go. Is the Discover app exclusive for KDE? No, but it's developed by KDE for Plasma. Yeah, see, it's like choppy. Oh man, the controls feel bad. Maybe I'll get used to them. Are any of you guys familiar with this? It didn't even scale in full screen. Yeah, it's... It's trying. Oh, this game is really good. We could beat this on stream. How do they get away with doing this if this is the open if this is open Tyran? Are the art assets open source or like how do, is this this is shareware? I don't know how they're doing this. I used to play this so freaking much as a kid. We used to call it train because I didn't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> the soundtrack is just awesome. Damn it, I missed the secret level. You've played the GOG version of this before, Rice? So that must have been the non the non-free version, huh? It's funny to me that all of the the consoles, you know, from Nintendo, Super Nintendo, PC Engine, Dreamcast, like everything, Sega Saturn, they all had tons of these shmups, but there were there's so few and far between on PC 
that a game like Tyran comes along. And I mean, it's it's okay. But it's like coveted as one of the best top-down shooters like this on the PC. But in reality, it's like, it's average. Like the artwork is good. You know, the, the graphics in general <clears throat> are really good. Weapons are cool. Music is fantastic. These little, like, thing claws coming out remind me of Life Force on the Nintendo. If I recall, you could play this two-player, and the, the two ships could combine and become like a super ship. It's like Chromium BSU. There's the boss. <laughs> you believe the game is heralded as one of the best shmups of all time? Like, in general? I mean, it's good. Unless you count MSX machines. Yeah, that's a, that's a good game. Thanks at all. All right, we're going to do Subway Simulator. And we're not talking Subway Sandwiches. Oh, we're off to a great start. App is running. It may take a while before the app window appear to appear. Open Dungeons was the other game I wanted to try. What else do we got here? You getting towards the end of the list? I'm about to just filter on Alan Pope. It's like if he packages it, it's got to be good. Subway Simulator. Ross's Game Dungeon did a good job. Good video on Tyran. I have to look it up. All right. Subway Simulator. All right. Oh, you choose it. Okay. I mean... Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to think of it. It's like a subway. It's like a subway car. Okay. <laughs> this one looks good. Let's go with it. Activate simple lighting system. No, I don't want to. I wanted to play. Oh, select. I see. Oh, okay. So there's like challenges and stuff. Ross's game dun dungeon is the great video game review show on YouTube. All right. Okay, we got cameras. Okay. Oh shit, what did we do? Oh, we turned it on. Okay, got the important stuff down. Oh, I see, it's still starting. Train is ready, good to go. Okay, so I have to, like I, I was joking about this game, but this is actually really cool. This is totally not my style, but the attention to detail, or maybe the lack thereof, like this is just untextured, but let's ignore that. Is there some tearing going on? That sucks.
All right. Oh, okay, that's cool. There's a score. Let's get this thing going. We want to go just as fast as we can, right? Uh-oh. Oh, I'm getting fined. Hey, 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 hey. What am I doing wrong here? I thought I was supposed to go fast. Oh, 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 oh. People. Look, there's people. I bet they love that. <laughs> this is this is actually really cool. <laughs> now you know what we're going to do, right? We can go to the next station. You guys have made a terrible mistake because we are putting the pedal to the metal and we are not stopping. I hope you guys are ready for the ride from hell. Alright, let's get this thing going. Turn all the lights off. There we go. I wish I could turn these off. I sure hope there's nothing in front of us. Wow, we're actually going top speed, and it's, this is, like, acceptable speed. Okay, so... I have to admit, I'm actually really impressed with that game. Like, it was kind of a joke at first, but that was really cool. A role-playing choose-your-own-adventure game, huh? You have headlights? Oh, I know. I turned them off. Phantom? Play any Minecraft server on your Xbox or PS4? I don't know. You guys might know what this is. I have no idea. I've never heard of that before. Oh boy. What is this? An interpreter to play level 9 computing games? Cross-platform 3D game interpreter? Oh, I see. Okay, that's fine. A meta puzzle game? Oh, another one of these, huh? I think I'll pass on this too. Alright, I think we're probably getting towards the end, hopefully of the list, but definitely towards the end of the stream. How many more pages are there? There we go. We're at the end of this. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Okay, so let's let's look at the games on this and then we'll wrap it up. There's some good ones here too. Ah, yes. Do you need the data files? Yeah. This would be fun to play, but this game has some incredible music. <laughs> License unset. Yeah, there's a trend that these streams keep getting longer and longer. It's about, I mean, it really comes down to how, how long my voice can last. Plays the victory stream again because you're on the last stretch. We're getting there. What the hell? What is this? Navigate your worm through... Eh. 
This isn't a Nibbles clone. How do you figure it's a Nibbles clone? Just because you, well, I guess the mechanics, you eat food, you eat things and your snake gets longer, I guess. Eh, it's worth checking out. Let's give it a shot. So as we're, as we're kind of getting towards the end of the stream, I have to say I'm really disappointed in, in Kubuntu here. I don't think I was expecting all that much from it, to be honest with you. I'll see you later, Farron. I don't really think I was expecting much, but we had problems early on with uh, tearing. We had problems with discover. What is this? I don't know. It looks interesting. But I'm going to pass on it. <laughs> I mean... Eh. It, I mean, it's simple. <laughs> I think we're going to pass on this one, too. I, I mean, funnily enough, it was updated, like, recently. I'm sure whoever did this worked really hard on it. Uh, I mean, let's look at their website. Yeah, it's one of these games. I wonder what it's written in. I wonder if it's, like, Haxi Flixel or something. After this, it's off to Reddit. Yeah, Flappy Bee. I was thinking the same thing. It's like, is it like Flappy Bird? Oh, another one by the same people. What the hell? Yikes. I don't know what to think about this. I think I might pass on this one too. Oh my god, what is this what is with this gorilla soft? I I mean, to be honest, these games are really low quality. <laughs> yeah, I think this is about it. This is glassed. We've already seen this. Oh, I haven't seen this in forever. Eh, let's give this a try. It's like a RC plane simulator. Mind test. The Star Fox. Now, I, to be totally honest, I've been thinking about that, Mitchell. I'm like, the game was so freaking weird. Like, the mechanics are just really odd honestly the thing that kills me about that game is the frame rate is makes it like unplayable but out of all of the games that we played that felt the most game like like the, you know there's other games like there's puzzle games and stuff and those are really fun but as far as just traditional games that you would expect from 2020 like third person 3d and stuff and the fact that it's written in panda 3d is just like the whole game is an anomaly so what do we have left open dungeons i thought i tried that no i guess not oh this we're off to a great start here Jesus Christ. Uh. <laughs> what do I do? Is Vulcan? Oh, open GL or Open GL3? I don't have much hope for this. I can't even close it. I can't even get out. <laughs> Dude. 
I, I can't close it. <laughs> Is a bedrock delve coming? Uh, I don't know. You could add it to the the uh, GitHub issue list. If it's, um, like if it's yeah, I, there's no reason why it's not. I don't I don't know anything about it really. I know a little bit, but not much. You've entered the twilight zone. Let's try that again. Maybe the the settings. They did not stick. Okay. And it just crashed. Okay, well. I don't know what, what else there is to say about that game. It crashed. Wasn't there another game, though? I thought I had another one. I know there was this one, but I thought there was something else. Bedrock is pretty crazy. You think there was one already? Alt F4. I tried that. Does it have an like? I guess the 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 basics are. Does it have an installer? And that's it, basically. <laughs> like it doesn't need the NVIDIA drivers. As long as I can get into it and talk about it, that is enough to do uh, a a distro delves episode on it. <laughs> Ooh, it tore really bad. Wow, plane crashed. Okay, we're off to a great start. What do, what do I do? Oh, I see. You know the game is good quality when you start and you just crash into the ground. Look at that. <laughs> Restart. Boom. <laughs> Within a half a second of the game starting, I crash into the ground. Okay. Out of curiosity, would you do a distro delves uh, episode on specialized distros? Yeah, yeah, I would. I've thought about making specific scripts for certain distros because if I looked at something like Ubuntu Studio with the existing script, I would I would kind of pass over a lot of stuff that makes the distro special. If, if that makes sense. Like doesn't Ubuntu Studio comes with Jack pre pre installed and configured, right? And the the script like I would have to I would have to like ad lib a lot of stuff about it. Have a good night, Waces. Have a good one. Thanks for sticking around. Been here for a while. This is a long one. This has been a long stream. Long for me anyway. So if I recall, this game is something that you would find in hobby shops. And you could load in, oh, the mouse is the input method? Really? Wheel up? OK. Yeah, I don't know what. Oh, what the hell? What? I don't know what I did. Oh, I crashed. This is so weird. But how do I like control the flaps and stuff? Wind vectors on. How did I get into the controls? There we go. Really? Ugh, oh, okay. That's really strange. Yeah, there it goes. Wow. This is really weird. This certainly isn't worth under. What? I, 
<laughs> no, oh, there's a uh, a portable toilet, as it were. Let's see if we can crash into it. What do they call those in your uh, in your language or, or region? We usually call them porta potties here, but I'm pretty sure that's not the official term for them. I've heard them called porta johns. That might just be like a, a regional thing, though. There it goes. I finally crashed. This is amazing. <laughs> you use porta potty, yeah. That's how you would go if you ever tried flying something. Believe it or not, I actually used to fly these in real life. They're really, really fun. But yeah, crashing them sucks because they're, they're made out of like wood or styrofoam. So it's just like a disaster if you crash them. I want to see if I can get that porta potty. Turn the throttle down a little bit. Where is it? Can I zoom out? Like this... This angle is silly. All right, I've had enough of this game. We're done. I, uh, yeah, no, don't save it. I don't know. Just get out of it. All right. I think that's the end. I think we've reached the end of the stream. All right. Portable toilets. Who who designed the uh, the camera? The camera is Johnny on the spot. <laughs> The the camera design is supposed to be you on the ground standing watching your plane, but the problem is the field of view is really bad. It's really bad. But, yeah, this stream has come to an end. Thanks for sticking around, folks. I appreciate all of you for sticking around and hanging out and chatting. It was good. Got our first donation. That was rad. And I will do this again very, very soon. I don't know if... Kubuntu is is long for this world. This is Kubuntu 19.10 with the KDE backports. Um, I'm not very happy with it to be honest. So next time I stream, I don't I don't know what I will be. I might still be Kubuntu. I mean, it's not. I don't know if it's bad enough for me to reinstall, but uh, we'll see. We will see. Thanks for sticking around, folks. This was a, this was a blast.